Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different than my normal videos. It's actually featuring my lovely mother making some really cool lampwork beads that look like adorable little chickadee birds with little party hats. It's been so much fun for me growing up with my mom making lampwork beads because I have gotten so much unique one-of-a-kind jewelry from it. But it's also really nifty to just see how she comes up with these designs and how she makes them. So. If you're curious to see how she does it, or you're also a lampwork artist and you want to try it out on your own, stay tuned and we'll show you exactly how she makes these adorable little birds. First we are going to be using our super handy dandy pointy tip tweezers. Here is the scalloped pincher tool that we are going to use to make the tail. And up next, we do have our little starburst-shaped presser tool that we're using for the wing. And we're also going to use a little pointy pokey tool to make the eye sockets. And last, we have our flat little spatula that we use for shaping. As for our colors, over here on the left, you can see our twisty party hat colors. And then we have our white for the base bead, some gray twisties for the wings, there's the ivory for the tummy, and then we have some more white base bead, some gray for the backside, and black for the tail and beak. Alright guys, so getting started we are going to use a white base and just make a thin disc bead that we can then build up off of. You do want to make sure that this has a pretty narrow footprint. Once you are happy with the size and shape of your bead, you are going to go back in on one side with an ivory color to make the chest of the bird. Now on the side opposite of where you put the ivory, we're going to go in with a light gray to make the back side of the bird. Then I'm just going to smooth and press and melt that into the bead and round it back up again. To start the head, we're going to use some black and build it up right above where you put the ivory for the chest piece. Now on the side opposite of the head, I'm going to put another black blob for the tail.
So continuing on with the head, we're going to want to put two white stripes going down the sides of it. If you haven't pre-pulled a white stringer, you can go ahead and use this technique to just kind of pull one off the end of your mandrel. You're not going to need a lot of material for this, so it doesn't have to be a very long stringer. So I'm just going to take my stringer and draw a line down either side of the face. You can go over it a couple times just to make sure that it's going to be nice and thick and visible. Once your stripes are kind of melted in, we're going to go ahead and pinch the tip of the head to make a nice little beak point that will also nicely pull in the stripes to that point. Going back to the other side where the tail is, I'm just going to add a little bit more material so that way he's going to have a nice big fanning tail. And then we're going to get that tail nice and hot and go in with our scallop shaped pinchers and pinch the tail to give a nice feather look. Once we finish the scalp, we're just going to take our mandrel and attach it onto the tail to kind of pull it into a point at the end. Not quite as pointy as the beak, but you do want to get kind of that pointed tail shape. Moving right along, we're going to get started on the wings next. Now we did pre-make a twisty using some shades of gray for the wing. We're just going to put a spot on each side and then kind of draw it backwards so it's sort of in that teardrop shape headed towards the direction of the tail. Next we're going to go in with a starburst kind of shaped press that we have and just press towards the back of the wing to, like the tail, give it kind of that feather pattern. Just do that on each side facing towards the back and now you have some wings. Moving on to the face, we're going to use a little pokey tool and make some eye sockets. You kind of just want these to be small little landing pads on either side of the head for us to stick our eyeballs into. Then we're going to go in with a small black stringer and just make some eyes in those sockets. You do not want to melt these in too far because it is black on black, and then you obviously will not see the eyes. They will not stick out. So getting started on the party hat, we're going to take another shade of twisty. This one's actually a kind of blue color, and put a dot right on the top of his head. We're then going to press that down a little bit because the base of the hat you do want to be wider than the top of it. So this is kind of like a nice even little landing pad for you to twist the top of the hat off of. So we're just pressing that in. And now we're going to go back in with our stringer and kind of build it up so we can get a kind of pointy cone party hat shape. I'm also twisting as I go so that way it is keeping it nice and spiraled on the way up. And finally, I'm just going to go in and do a little touch up on his beak to pull it out and make sure that it is staying nice and pointy as a beak should. Chickadee with a party hat.
Well guys, thanks for watching. That was a super fun tutorial and I really enjoyed filming it with my mom. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more fun videos of me doing DIYs and fun craft projects as opposed to just my mom. But it was so much fun working with her and filming her through this process. There was a lot of giggles that I had to voice over. And if you're a lampwork artist watching this tutorial who wants to try it out at home and comes up with some fun, cute little birds of your own, feel free to send them to me on Instagram. My mom and I would totally love to see what you come up with. Until next time, I hope your day is as beautiful as yours.